Can you just give us a, sort of a status report of where we are in the trial, first off? Sure, there's been uh, four days of what is probably going to be a three-week trial. Uh, government has had three witnesses. Uh, the thing is moving really fast. And on Monday, we'll get uh, Bond's former girlfriend, uh, Kimberly Bell, to testify about uh, what she said was the physical changes he underwent after he told her he was using steroids. This goes back to 1999. Huh. It'll be very dramatic. Uh, they haven't seen each other since a bad breakup in 2003. The defense says she's a gold digger trying to make money, making things up. Uh, it's a really a flipping point in the trial. Uh, unlike the previous witness, Steve Hoskins, who had a tape recording out of the weight trainer Greg Anderson, he's there really to authenticate some information for the jury. With Kim, it's all her testimony, her word, and does it stand up? You know, I just listened to that recording, and it did seem, in most part, inaudible if you weren't looking at the transcript. I was wondering, you know, how the jury might react to that if uh, they really could hear that. Well, they're going to have to do what what we did at the Chronicle when we got it back in '05, and you've got to sit and listen and listen and listen and listen. And I probably listened to the thing 150 times because it's it was in a guy's coat pocket, you know in the Giants clubhouse, there's tons of background noise and stuff. But if you stay with it, you can you can hear what's going on pretty well. And so does it actually say what the prosecution says it says? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Greg that. Anderson is saying he's giving bonds undetectable steroids. Um, before that, he discusses uh, how to avoid abscesses when you inject yourself with steroids. And then he ends up with a discussion of, uh, of uh, bonds hitting early in the 2003 season, and you can use that information to actually date when the recording is made. So you don't, you can get all you need from that. It's whether you believe Anderson is telling the truth and he actually is giving these drugs to Bonds or whether he's right. making it up. And so I had a question about Anderson and something I've wondered for a while. I know, uh, we all know that he decided to actually go to jail rather than testify. And I wondered, and I'm not saying he should do this, but I thought, was there some way for him to actually testify and to do so in a way that wouldn't be, you know, really harmful to the to, to bonds uh, or, or helpful of the prosecution's case? Um, or would that just open him up to perjury charges then? Well, you know, we wrote about this in our book, Game of Shadows. That Defense lawyers talk to us about the problem of going in front of a grand jury, which is where they wanted Greg to go, and discussing things. And the task, really, if this is your mood, is to not lie but be useless. And uh, that would be what Greg would have to do if he would go in there. But obviously he didn't feel he could make himself useless would risk a perjury right. uh, uh, prosecution if he were to lie about what he's actually already admitted, which is that he dealt steroids to ball players. Right. Do you think he's going back to jail? Oh, he is back. Oh, he is back in jail. He went back Tuesday. Oh, I missed that. It's his third, uh, third stint for contempt of court, and the ultimate concern he must have is whether the, they're going to prosecute him criminally for contempt of court, which is also can be done, and that would be add more pain and suffering than what he's already had inflicted on him by his decision. Is this a rarity for uh, someone to go to jail for contempt of court for not wanting to testify? Well, there are very few um, uh, privileges in federal court uh, that exempt one from testifying. And uh, if you don't want to testify uh, and you don't have a privilege, um, this is where it ends up. Right. Yeah. The other question I had, um, you know, and I read your book, um, it was about Nowitzki, who mm -hmm. is the IRS agent. Mm -hmm. I just wonder, as an IRS agent, how does he somehow get embroiled in a steroids case? That's a good question. He was, IRS has a criminal division, so they have guys with guns who do drug cases and money laundering cases mainly, and they went into the Balco steroids case as a money laundering case. Uh, the cash proceeds of drug sales being cycled through bank accounts 
to clean it up. And uh, so that was the initial hook. He's now a Food and Drug Administration agent. He changed jobs a couple of years ago. And the FDA is concerned with doping because it's these are misbranded or controlled sub controlled products that aren't supposed to be distributed without a doctor's permission. Yeah. That's the hook. I see. And you know, in your book, I, I think I remember that this actually went all the way up to John Ashcroft at some point. Is that correct? Yeah. The Attorney General of the United States was Ashcroft at the time the uh, original Balco prosecution proceeded. And yes, he was involved in the launch decision on that and actually announced on national television they were indicting Victor Cotty and Greg Anderson and two right. other men. Have you met Barry Bonds? Um, I've not been introduced to him. I've seen him around court. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried to talk to him for a book, but he sure. couldn't find this his favorite topic. Yeah, you know, because I actually have met Barry Bonds um, in sort of a strange situation. It was a promotional softball game, and I actually played in a softball game against Barry and Bobby, and this was in uh, around 1998. And it's always been interesting to me because I have to say, like, he couldn't have been nicer to the people there, and he couldn't have been sort of more forthcoming and friendly and signed autographs and pictures. And it was, you know, it was a real thrill. Um, and this was before any of this became public, it, you know, just to meet him. And he really did seem at that moment, he was a, sort of almost part of the community. And, you know, I wonder if perhaps his personality changed over time or if that was sort of the real Bonds and the sports writers. Uh, you know, he was sort of, uh, he was um, not happy in dealing with sports writers, so he presented sort of a different face. But I guess, you know, people don't really know. Oh, all of us have multiple sides to our personality. Yeah. There's no mm -hmm. doubt that Barry has an ornery side to his personality and did for a long time. And uh, the contention, the girlfriend's contention, is that it, he got ornerier mm -hmm. because he used steroids and got meaner and flared up more often. You had a good experience with him. That's a good experience. You know, some people have it. Yeah. My last question about this is: um, Do you feel like the general public cares at this point whether um, sort of about the steroids issue in general, um, not just baseball fans but the public? Is this something that people really want to see seen through to the very end, or is this something that the public has sort of? accepted this was baseball steroids era and they're ready to move on. Jeff well, that. you know, the audience went through a period where they just were shocked that this was occurring. Mm -hmm. And we're past that. And now sports fans have accepted it's a part of the game they don't like, I think. Right. Um, but the shock has worn off. Yeah. Uh, they, they want clean sports, I think. Uh, but they also don't want necessarily or don't find it that amusing all the time to read about the latest athlete getting busted. But that's the difficulty we have with the desire for clean sports and imperfect testing proceeding. You've got this situation where the if you want to cheat, you just innovate mm -hmm. and away we go. And last question, you have any sense of Bond's chances for the Hall of Fame? Well, if he gets convicted of something, I spoke to former Commissioner Vincent who thought it was over if he got convicted of something. Mm -hmm. The question is, will the evidence in the trial be troubling enough, whether he's convicted or not, to keep him out of the hall? Because uh, now we're at the point where he's having to admit using the Balco drugs, the cream and the clear. He just has to say he didn't do it or didn't know about it. And uh, so I, I don't know. I'm not, I don't write sports. Some sports writers say they vote for him anyway because he was a Hall of Fame player before he started juicing, which we think started in 99. Right. I just don't know. I, it's too darn bad for the game that there's a, that the story thing is wrapped around this home run record. Yeah. And if Bonds does get convicted, what penalty does he face? Probably house arrest. Uh, this judge has had an Olympic track coach and a, Olympic bicycle racer in front of her for trials for lying to authorities about using Balco steroids or distributing steroids. In both cases, there were convictions. In both cases, she opted for a home detention rather than a prison sentence. 